guys and welcome back to another tag video today this one is called the winter decor home lifestyle tag and this is this was created by my good friend really good living there are 20 questions that we have to answer Ooh -wee. and that's not that much because I just recently did one with 40 questions so but I must say this tag was um, a very good tag. You had some very excellent questions. Let's go ahead and get started with the tag. Okay, question number one. What are your three, what are your top three winter essentials this year? Number one, wearing a nice warm sweater. Uh, those are essentials. You must stay warm during the winter season. You don't want to be wearing, you know, little t-shirts that don't give you any warmth and then you get a cold later. So wearing a nice warm uh, sweater. And this is more like a, um, this is not a sweater. This is a, um, not a cape, but a shawl somewhat. It's like a wintry uh, shawl sweater and it has uh, little fringes at the bottom. Another winter essential, but I don't even have any of them. <laughs> I don't have one pair, and that's wearing some nice warm boots. You know, everybody likes to wear their winter boots uh, for this season, but I don't even own one pair. So if you have any boots, wear your boots because it keeps your feet warm. And the third thing that I would say as an essential is make sure and do the best you can to wipe down and clean and sanitize all your areas, all your surfaces in your house, your car. So that means making sure that you have hand sanitizing um, products, you know, wipes, bleach, Clorox, whatever it is that you sanitize. Number two, what is your Christmas or winter decor style this year? Well, the same as it always is, pretty much traditional. I love going with traditional uh, Christmas colors red green and white and with some gold as well number three what is your design style did it change and if so why um, I basically like things that are traditional modern with glam and bling and no my style has not changed I've been this way ever since I started decorating Number four, show us your outfit of the day or give a fashion tip for winter or tell us in one word how you describe your fashion style for this season. Okay, I'm going to give you one word to describe my fashion style for this season. That's a hard question. <laughs> I'm just going to say comfortable. Whatever makes me feel comfortable. Now today I'm wearing my sweater and the heater is on in the house today so I would not say that I'm comfortable today so this would be hot but usually I like to wear things that make me feel comfortable and stay nice and warm or maybe cool because you know when you have hot flashes you know you go through all those different temperature changes and it's kind of um, it's kind of hard to stay comfortable so just pretty much wear what makes you feel comfortable number Five, three things you are looking forward to next year. Or to Aaron graduating from high school. I can't wait, yay! And number three, hopefully this pandemic will be over soon and I would like it to be over now, but I would say by next year, hopefully it will be over. Okay, six, what's one thing you miss or wish you did but didn't do and plan to do next year. I miss my old friend. I mean, I miss my old neighborhood where I just moved from, guys. I wish I could have stayed there. You know, the house that we just moved from. I wish we could have stayed there until Aaron graduated from high school, which will be next year. I really miss my next door neighbor. She was so sweet and we just felt so at home there. And one thing that I wish I did that I didn't do, I didn't do very well of it, I didn't do that well at losing weight this year. Yes, I have lost uh, a lot of weight, but I haven't gotten to my goal, and I wish that I have had a, 
lost a little bit more and the little bit that I have lost um, during this pandemic you know I picked up a few more pounds so I'm a little discouraged about that but number seven what are two favorite products that blew you away the toilet paper for one how everybody just bought it all up I mean there were so many people that had baskets full during this pandemic I mean just all the way packed and even underneath it that blew me away um, I never thought that toilet paper would be one of the items that would um, be sold the most I mean good grief I mean how much try not to be gross here but how much of cleaning yourself up <laughs> are you going to be doing good grief you know <laughs> and also it blew me away with the hand sanitizers you know the hand sanitizing wipes that blew me away because the average person doesn't even sanitize their house they don't do a lot of sanitizing but I think because of the fear of what's been going on and what has happened uh, that has blown me away how people really react um, by grabbing it grabbing so much and buying it all up and I bet you when this pandemic is over it's gonna be tons and tons of toilet paper left <laughs> and sanitizers so number eight use three words to describe this year and explain why sad depressing and frustrating i'm sad because number one the situation the pandemic you know so many people dying and um i had a friend of an old church that i used to go to she had died because of it so that's sad um and so many other people dying that's sad Dep and it's also depressing, depressing that you have to stay quarantined in the house. Um, and it's also frustrating, Being especially when you have a teenager who wants to always go out and you have to try to make the best decision as to when to let them go out, when not to. So it's a little frustrating. Number nine, describe your mood for this year in two words and explain why well in the beginning of the year it started out very happy um happy 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 then with this pandemic you know going on it kind of started out i mean ended up going more on the sometimes i feel down it's like down but i'm optimistic um I do my best to stay faithful, trusting God, but um, I'm just being honest with you guys. I mean, this is real life. I mean, we have to try to stay positive. And I've, I've had a little struggle with being sad and down, you know, at different times, so. Okay, number 10, what were the three most important lessons learned from this year? We just need to trust God even more, 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 more than ever before in our lives. We always are supposed to be trusting Him, but it just seems like through this situation, we have to trust Him more. The second lesson that I've learned is to, to show more thankfulness towards the little things, you know. Um, we take for granted the little things in life. You know, when we have, when we have the opportunity to make a phone call to somebody, and then we don't do it and then when something happens to them whether they die or get sick you learn that they're in the hospital you start to reflect back on that and you think wow i should have called so and so um, i've learned to sanitize more regularly and daily now i've always cleaned my home i'm not saying i don't clean my house but more sanitizing um, is needed especially when you come home I've learned to wash my hands even more so than I ever have in my entire life. And I think I'm the one, the only one in this house that washes my hands the most. What was your most memorable moment this year, good or bad, and why? Um, the day that we moved. We moved in August and missing my neighbor. That's been the most memorable moment this year and I have to say it it's been more of a bad memorable moment um, it's not something I want to remember but that's what I've gone through we weren't even prepared to move and we found ourselves needing to move and it, it just was not a good comfortable thing to go through so 
Number 12, how did you change as a person this year? Well, you know, I don't think that I've changed a whole lot. I'm basically still the same. It's just that what little change would be that I'm more conscious of sanitizing my surfaces now. I've learned to appreciate life a little bit more. That, that's a better way of explaining it. So, number 13, what were your three favorite videos you created and why? I have a lot of videos like everybody else and I, I couldn't even go through all of them to figure out which one, but a few that stuck out to me, one of my most recent ones called The Prayer of Protection, Psalms 91 Tablescape. The next video that was my favorite is the family vlog that me and my husband and Aaron did um, when we went to the Staples Center here in LA. Uh, that was nice. That was one of my favorites because we had so much fun. It was just nice being out in the environment. And I think it was during Christmas time, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't remember, but it was just so much fun just being out with the family and enjoying being around. You saw, you saw oh yeah, it was during Christmas time. The, the ice skaters, you know, family was ice skating and all the different um, activities that they had and just walking around and being able to vlog. I just enjoyed it so much. And the third one was my 2019 Christmas uh, home tour. I love putting out those home tours because it just makes, I don't know, it just makes me feel very happy to share uh, my home and how I've styled it for the season. It just makes me feel nice and happy to share it with you. So and number 14, how do you stay motivated in uncertain times? Well, the way I stay motivated is by trusting God. I pray. I study my Bible, studying God's word every single day. I have positive affirmations that I constantly confess each and every day. That helps me stay motivated. God's Word, being in God's Word um, really helps. Worshiping Him through music. I listen to uh, music and inspirational songs to help me. Number 15, give, <laughs> might as well keep these on. Give or show a Christmas winter decor idea or winter inspiration tip. Well, I decided to give you an inspiration tip and I hope that you will, you will feel that it's inspirational because um, that's what we need. We need a lot of inspiration, you know, right now during this time. Accept what is, let go of what was and have faith in what will be. Now you have to really break that down and think about what I just said. Accept what is, we know what's going on in this world. Let go of what was. If someone did something bad to you, treated you bad, or if something bad happened, um, or a relationship went sour, let it go. It's in the past, just, just let it go. And just have faith in what will be. I believe that God is gonna bring us through this situation that we're all involved in. So that is my inspirational quote to you. I hope that you, um, I hope it helps you. I hope you can understand it. Number 16, give two tips to people that are spending this season alone. Tell if you have ever had to spend time alone and what did you do? Well, no, I did not spend time alone um, during the holidays, so that answers that part. And this one was a very difficult question to answer. Trusting God through the difficulties. Pray and ask him to bring you peace and happiness. We must learn how to pray. If you do believe in prayer, uh, great. And if you don't, well, in my opinion, you should. But just trust him to bring you through the difficult times. Cook yourself a beautiful, delicious meal for yourself. Don't go to McDonald's or Jack in the Box. Nothing wrong with those places, but pamper yourself. Cook yourself that meal and use your best dishware, glassware, and just love on yourself. And watch your favorite movies. Don't go to bed early and think, oh, well, there's nothing to watch. Let me just go on and go to sleep. No, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to be sad and gloomy. Treat yourself, pamper yourself. Another thing, maybe give yourself a nice bubble bath uh, with a nice of a nice glass of whatever your drink of choice is. 
just number 17 use one word to describe yourself this year prayerful i have never prayed so much in my entire life as i have this year number 18 what was the most difficult challenge this year and how did you deal with it? Trusting God through the moving situation that we just went through, I have to say that was a very big deal for me. It was very difficult. Um, things seemed to just, just didn't work. We were very limited on time and it was very difficult. It seemed like we were never gonna find a house. My mind kept telling me, you're gonna be homeless. You and your family are gonna be out in the street. Number 19, what are three funniest, meanest, or strangest comments you got in a video? <sighs> well, I'm gonna sum it all up. Um, I can't think of one for each one, but I'm gonna say this one particular person said that my music was actually giving them anxiety. Now, I had to laugh. I thought that was funny, but then I didn't like it. I thought it was mean because I'm thinking, well, why'd you have to tell me that? Do I need to really know? I'm, I'm sorry that it was too loud. If it was too loud, she didn't say if it was too loud. She said it was just giving her anxiety. <laughs> so I did laugh at that and I thought it was strange. Um, I never had anyone to tell me anything like that, but anyway. And the last question, number 20, three things you're looking forward to next year and why? No, no, that's not the last one. I've got one more, but that was number 20. I'm looking forward to the pandemic being over. Why? Because of what's been happening. It's killing people. We're having to stay home as much as possible. You can't go out freely. I'm tired of wearing the mask. I'm tired of having to social distance and can't get together with family the way you want to. So that's why for that. Number two reason, I'm waiting for Aaron to graduate from high school. My daughter did not have, have the opportunity to graduate. So, and that means a whole lot to me for him to do that. Number three, last thing, moving out of the home that we are currently in. We don't like it over here but I have to say uh, that's okay. I'm thankful that we have a roof over our head. So that's say on that. And the last one, 21. Tell us three goals for next year and why. Well, this pretty much is the same, the same answers as to question number 20. Aaron graduating from high school. I've already said why, so that's the same reason as number 20. Moving. I already said why on that one. And the third one, to lose more weight and hopefully get down or close enough to my goal weight. I haven't gotten there yet and it's frustrating being heavy. And, you know, it's all about being healthy and that's what I'm striving to, to get there. So. Now, that is the end of the questions. Now, I'm going to tag three people, Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. I'm tagging Lifestyle TV with Edwina. And last but not least, Roland with Anita. And I'm not sure if she will be able to do it. Uh, she's got a lot going on on her side. But anyway, you guys are tagged. I hope you can do this tag. And Thank you so much, Lady Phoenix, for doing this, uh, creating this tag. And I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you. And if you have not yet clicked on that subscribe button, please do so right now and click your bell. Click it to all and you will be notified of all my videos and you won't miss any of them. You guys have a blessed day. I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.